Something is different, but I can't quite put my finger on it. It's the famous elephant in the room. Ah, did you really think that you could simply steal our umuks just like that? Well, you thought wrong. You don't belong in this timeline. We will have to remove you. Oh, yeah? You'll have to catch me first. Hey! Stop! I said, just stop! You can't escape your destiny! Even if it's kind of terribly heavy costume on, and consequently gets out of breath easily. Oh yeah? We'll see about that. Right. Now you're done for. Let's move. Now we're going to get you. Actually, I wanted to leave it here. On the other hand, I'm slowly running out of ideas. And as long as I'm careful... Whoops! So many clock hands. Why do I have the feeling they're smiling at me? Doesn't matter. Gut feeling is gut feeling. Yeah! Got them! Time to get out of here. Huh? What now? Some kind of immobilizer? Time to get out of here. Huh? Some kind of immobilizer? Hey, this looks exactly like the first menu. Interesting. Haha! <laughs> I knew I could do it without the instruction manual. Hey! Stop! Where are you going? I'm not telling! What? This isn't the interim. I must have passed straight through a second portal. <laughs> oh, will you look at that? This is Gold's childhood. Stop making such a noise down there, little lady. As you know, disobedience leads to chaos. Chaos leads to garbage. And garbage leads to Neponia. He has just disqualified himself from ever taking his hypothetical grandson for the weekend. Hey, the Telly Buddies! That was my favorite series until they changed Stinky Winky's voice. I cried and threw my porridge around for an entire week. But last Monday, I was finally over it. Goal seems to like it too. I hope she's sitting close enough to see everything. Where am I? Oh, there I am! Behind you! <laughs> Children are so stupid. Gucci goo! Gucci goo! Which good little baby gives Uncle Rufus their tasty lollipop? Winky Winky! Yeah, almost right. He'll thank me for that. Perishable milk stashed in a secret space? Check. Ah! Surprise! Did you really think that you would be able to hide from us here? Well, you thought wrong. And now, it's my turn to seek, right? No. Wrong again. It's your turn to be eliminated. And may Zorfix have mercy if you have changed anything here. <laughs> the 
portal that they had opened under my feet led into the interim. Ah! There, I was caught in the middle of a huge junk avalanche that dragged me into the depths. As if an entire city were to slide into the gaping jaws of hell. Paradox City. The whole place must have slipped down when the future opened up underneath it. Yes, but this timeline also came to an end. After an eternity in freefall, I finally landed there. My last thought was, if only I had a weapon with which I could open portals. Maybe I could have used it to slow my fall. That doesn't explain how you got onto our back seat. No, it doesn't. I wanted to build a little tension. I assumed that this whole thing has happened like this thousands of times. And every time, I came to on Elysium and had forgotten everything, almost everything, because the sequences gradually became more and more familiar. For crying out loud. Hey, who's there? Room service, okay? Uh, uh huh. I think I have deja vu. Something is wrong here, but I can't quite put my finger on it. It's the famous elephant in the room. Ah, did you really think that you could... Hey! Stop! Got milk? Check. That's all I could get. A bottle full of... Cheese. That's why it stinks so badly in here. Actually, I wanted to leave it here. On the other hand, I'm slowly running out of ideas. And as long as I'm careful... Whoops! So many clock hands. Why do I have the feeling they're smiling at me? Doesn't matter. Gut feeling is gut feeling. Yeah! Got them! I've duplicated cooler things, like myself, for example. Why does the word tachyon spring to mind? That's just gibberish, like Rococo or foot hygiene. Mmm. Something is ringing. It doesn't, but I have the. As if a sleight of hand. I don't know what I've built here, but it. Hey, I can actually see something new! A potential portal, wherever I know that from. Steady. Ha! Who's the man? Rufus is the man. Somehow. <laughs> <gasps> ah! That's 
a waste of time. It's impossible to survive a fall like that. He was smashed to pieces on the ground. Talking about ground? What's happened to the future? There shouldn't be any ground here. What could we have overlooked? We'll have to go back again. But first, let's check around that corner there. Very well. Better safe than sorry. Well, look at that. It's our Umux. Someone else is trying to interfere with the course of history. Making very easy for us. Come on. I've got an idea. This time I really broke every bone in my body. I guess it's about time. The pain. I think I'm gonna pass out. With the last of my strength, I crawled onto the back seat and hid under a blanket in the storage compartment. Then I lost consciousness. And now you are stuck here, too. Well done. Is the bit where we realize what use this is to us going to come now? I... I think I understand. You were already in Cuba when we got rid of McChronicle. But you were also there, exactly the same, when we didn't do that. No matter which time loop we're talking about, Rufus is sitting in the back seat, here! Hello. As well as in the other timeline, where McChronicle got to Kubak. You mean, he was also cowering on the back seat when Rufus and McChronicle stole the time pod? And now, full speed ahead! Ah! Oops, guess that was reverse. As well as during your side trip to future Elysium's ruins. Exactly. Uh, there's a fire extinguisher in the storage compartment behind you. Could you please? Uh, all right. Um, I think you're... Hmm? That doesn't matter. It'll work. <laughs> a fire extinguisher is a fire extinguisher, right? He was there when you brought Future Goal to Elysium. Oh, th that, that was a uh, piercing, was it? Change the subject, okay? Uh, if we have to. What's our next move? And disappeared with her into interim time. Wicked. But that means... Did someone here order a taxi? Go? Don't tell me you need some kind of special invitation. Come on, take my hand, quick! No, wait! Yikes! Well, peekaboo, surprise! <laughs> Rufus? But how on earth did you get there? It's a long story, which we don't really have time for, right? Right. I want to keep you from... Oh, look, Barry! Hello, Rufus! Now, I want to keep you from making a big mistake. Whatever you're up to, it won't turn out well. Oh, you think so? Then just you watch. Rufus, your hand, now! No, stop! Hurry, what are you waiting for? Ah! Got you! Goal, I just can't believe it. How can you be here? And who is he? Well, I'm here to save you. But who knows what he's doing here? Then let me explain. I'm here to warn you. About what? That you've gained weight? A postcard would have been enough. Uh, I want to stop you from ruining the ending. Oh, just shut up, will you? Both of you just shut up and help me get you in here. Stop this instant. Let the man go. Actually, the men. Everything must remain how it has already happened once before. Who the heck are you? That's none of your concern. The only important thing is that you understand the consequences here. If you let them fall, then we'll return you to your time. But if you refuse, then I will be forced to cut the rope. Now for the last time, let them go. Who or what the hell is that? Haven't a clue, but I'm sure they're just bluffing. No, they're not. Goal, 
You know me! I'm the Rufus who saved you from your future, but that future no longer exists! That is the whole point of this! Now you don't understand! Somehow, we've fallen into a time loop! We have to break the cycle! Future? What's all this talk about the future? Let's just assume that you are right. Do you have a plan to get us out of this almighty mess? No, not this time. I have one. Pull us up. Then we'll kick these elephants in their fat elephant asses. That sounds like a plan to me. That's not a plan. That's suicide. Ha! Since when can you tell the difference? Since when is there a difference? Duh! I know that they'll carry out their threat. It's already happened that way so many times. Then why don't you suggest something new instead? But do it fast, please. There's only one thing you can do. You have to let go. Okay, that seems a bit extreme, but as long as it's part of another brilliant Rufus maneuver, it's all right by me. So, what's your plan? You parked your hoverboard under the next cloud. Or have you got a whistle with which you can summon the eagles? Or, wait a minute, no. You exchanged all of us with holograms, right? Come on, out with it. I let go and then what? How the heck are you planning to break your fall? Not at all. We won't survive. What? What kind of plan is that? Try to understand. It, it's not about saving him or me here. What? Why? Since when? We're already history. But for you, Goal, there's still a future. I'm sorry for giving you false hope. Both of us. Make it three. I should never have brought you back from your future. I wanted to, to find a better ending. And I came within a hair of ruining everything we achieved. Deponia is now in a time loop. Happy ending? Nothing of the kind. And the ending you're creating here is the worst of all. I didn't want to tell you this, but if you do this, Goal will die. No. Afraid so. And I... I grow a mustache! No! You're lying! Why are you lying? So, there is no hope for us? What's happened has happened and there's no way of reversing it? Nonsense. There is always hope. And you can do all sorts of impossible things. And you definitely should. Tons of them. Several times a day. You can defeat the Organon. Travel to Elysium. Uh, find a practical use for half fashion. And, and pick stars from the heavens. Even the past can be changed, if required. But if you undo all the great impossible things that you have achieved, then you have to do them all over again. Only then, they're no longer quite as impossible. You know? Do you really want to change what you went through together? Destroy the world over and over just to save it again? You fought together for one goal. What are you fighting for if it never ends? <coughs> But this is your moment. The decision is yours. I've said all I can say, and I'm at the end of my strength. Bon voyage. No! No! What a jerk. For sure. Oh, what does he know? There's always a way, right? Come on, just say it. We'll make it. Somehow. I think he was right, Cole. It would be really stupid if everything we've been through had never happened. Could you wrap it up already? And anyway, changing the past? <laughs> That's child's fuff next. We've done far more impossible things. We divided your personality in three. Cloning you? Hello? Shrunk you and put you in Bozo's ear? Huh? When did that happen? Uh, you were asleep at the time. The important thing is, though, that we had a great time together. Yes. We certainly did. Only the most impossible thing of all, I did alone. Let you go. Maybe that's the one thing that we should correct. Let's do it together. But, but, I, I can't do that. Our patience is at an end. We are now going to count to Zucks. Ango, Bongo, Schnicks, Double Schnicks, Clovis. I never had the chance to say goodbye. So goodbye, Rufus. Club it's too! We had such an awesome time. Ubel! Yeah, super awesome. Corklatch! Nasal! Zooks. <laughs> <laughs> no.
nice. Although, wait a minute. Whoa! <laughs> As I have mentioned before, the end was never our creation. It was there all this time. All we did was tempt it and somehow outmaneuver it once again. Perhaps we're not doing so bad after all. The Utopians took me back to the time when Rufus and McChronicle had picked me up. Of course, I was still grieving, but there was also something new and old. Hope. I've been thinking about the other Rufus a lot. Was there another goal, too? I would have liked to have found out more about their adventures. But apart from me and the Utopians, no one knew that they had ever existed. And that above all, everything had not been in vain. They left no trace, except in my memories.